kilometers of walls. Now in town there are only five kilometers left. Uh, in medieval time, Pisa was one of the most important cities in the Mediterranean Sea, one of the four maritime republics, like Venice, Amalfi and Genoa. So it needed to be defended by walls from the enemies coming from the sea. The sea was just a few kilometers away. Mm -hmm. Behind the square that is commonly known as Miracle Square, because we use an expression coined in 1910, by the Italian poet Gabriele D'Annunzio when he saw for the first time the beauty and the originality of this square. So it's not a religious miracle, it's a miracle of architectural achievement. So you can see the contrast between the white of the marble and the, over the green of the grass. We find here for the first time all together the most important building sorry, for the religious life of a Catholic person. So we have this round building, the baptistry. It was built just to baptize, because not baptized people were not allowed to enter in the church. Then we have the church, the cathedral, the center of the religious life, the center of the prayer, and the tower. The tower that was just the bell tower of the church, nothing more. I mean, the Leaning Tower was conceived to be the bell tower of the church. Then, this building behind you in red bricks, in, on the southern edge of the square, bless you, uh, this building is the old hospital. It was built in 1257 by Giovanni de Simone since 1979. Houses a museum. The museum of Sinopias. The Sinopias are the preliminary design of the frescoes. Then, on the northern side of the square, the last monument built in the square in 1277 by the same architect that built the hospital is the monumental cemetery, the graveyard. Now let's talk about the most famous building in the square, the tower. The Linen Tower was, uh, was started in 1173. So they wanted to build a normal tower. I mean, the intention was to build a straight tower. But fortunately for us, it didn't happen. Because when they reached the third floor, the tower started to sink into the ground. Because the tower was built over an alluvial soil. A soil is extremely rich in water, sand and clay, so very unstable, very weak, not a very strong base. So they interrupted the work more or less for one century. And the second market after one century, Giovanni de Simone, so the same market that they built both the hospital and the cemetery, so Giovanni de Simone added three more galleries, reaching the sixth gallery, and he tried to correct the inclination, building one side taller than the other. What I mean is the south side, it is the side of the inclination, starting from the third floor and going up, they built higher columns and at the same time smaller in diameter so that you can see that the tower going up is curving in the opposite direction. Can you see it? Like a sort of banana shape. Then in the middle of the 14th century, Tommaso Pisano built a bell chamber with seven bells in bronze. They are tuned to the seven musical notes. You have the yellow stickers. Yes, yeah, so you have only my assistant, you have not the guide. I, I think before I want to see if you were, I don't remember your face, so I tell you before, but I don't find you. So you have only my assistants. So now you have free time. The meeting point will be the same, 5.20, okay? If you want to buy the ticket to enter inside, this is Musa delle Sinopie, okay? And all the other information are also the same, so you find the toilet over there on the left and for the linen tower it's very complicated if you want I can show you with the museum the okay yeah. sorry because I have found before I go to give other information to other people but I don't find you and I have, don't find the ticket yeah, yeah. and was here sorry <laughs> sorry madam okay so um, 